Emerging from beneath Italy's surface is Pompeii, a city forever silenced by Mount Vesuvius's flame and ash. Many see it as a city frozen in its final moment, where time stopped and tales were sealed. But what if I told you there's more? What if Pompeii, with its ghostly streets and silent homes, has secrets yet to whisper? It was a city standing on black soil where some speculate the Greek language echoed alongside Latin, a nod to its cosmopolitan nature. Beyond its iconic ruins and preserved streets, Pompeii promises concealed secrets including tales of hidden magic. The ruins' intricate mosaics and poignant casts of its citizens offer a more complete tableau of that era. Recent excavations in Region 9 have unearthed remarkable findings. A distinctive fresco depicting the god Priapus, a thermopolium, the ancient equivalent of a fast food establishment, which Fiorella Squillante confirms was common in Pompeii and evidence of a bakery producing bread remarkably similar to modern pizza. They had an affinity for wine, cheese, olive oil, and going out to eat much like many of us today. They enjoyed a diet heavy on grains, meat, and fish, rich in fruit and vegetables, along with fluorine that was present in a local water source. Researchers speculate that this is why many of these corpses were found with impeccable teeth. Pompeii, however, wasn't the only city that bore the brunt of Vesuvius's wrath. Nearby, Herculaneum with its rich villas and luxurious baths was equally affected. Discovered even before Pompeii, Herculaneum was another testament to the volcano's fury. As for the eruption itself, the details are grim. One man, initially believed to have been hit by a flying rock while escaping, was later deduced to have died from lethal gases, the rock becoming a door jam propelled by a powerful volcanic cloud. Such stories paint a haunting picture of that day's chaos. While historical accounts have traditionally dated the Vesuvius eruption to August 24, 79 AD, emerging evidence suggests the possibility of a later date. One of the most sensational discoveries came from the Casa del Giardino, located in Section 5 of the Pompeii Archaeological Park. This mysterious collection, dubbed the Sorcerer's Treasure Trove, revealed a society steeped in magical practices and superstitions the concealed treasure, all stored in a disintegrated wooden box, included a peculiar collection of amulets, dolls, bells, fists, a tiny skull, and even miniature phalluses, hinting at a narrative far removed from the once-believed secular fabric of Pompeii. According to Massimo Ozana, the director of the Pompeii site, these artifacts, channels of fortune, fertility, and protection against ills, reveal a society potentially rife with magical practices. The Sorcerer's Trove calls into question the social hierarchy of such practices. Were these esoteric rituals exclusive to the enslaved and servants, or did they echo through the higher strata of Pompeii's society too? The narrative we've come to know of Pompeii was largely influenced by letters from Pliny the Younger. In his letters, Pliny detailed the horrific events, describing Romans covering their heads, the terrible toxic cloud, their prayers. His uncle, the renowned Pliny the Elder, a commanding officer of the Roman fleet, ventured towards the chaos to help but met a tragic end due to the deadly gases. While the 79 AD eruption remains the most infamous, Mount Vesuvius has been far from dormant. Between 79 AD and 1944, it experienced 27 significant eruptions, with the last major event in 1631 causing earthquakes, a tsunami and claiming thousands of lives. Pompeii is a living enigma, each excavation rewriting the city's story. As we anticipate the next round of discoveries, we're reminded of Pliny the Younger's words, Semper Victurus. The story of this disaster will live forever. As archaeologists unearth more of its secrets and the world keenly observes, he is proven correct. If you want to discover more strange and obscure stories, please like, share and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and see you on our next adventure.